Hi everyone, welcome back to Painted. It is a gorgeous summer afternoon here in Chicago. Um, I am, I promise you, I have clothes on. I'm wearing a sundress and my top for it had floppy sleeves so I'm not going to do it while I wear it while we're doing messy stuff. So today's live is all about Artsyville crackle mediums. Um, they're awesome. We'll start out with that. They're awesome. So, sorry, it's been a while since I did it live, so I just sort of brain farted there. <laughs> so let me go get into a little bit about what crackle is. Let me change this angle just a little bit so I'm not looking at the top of my head cut off and I don't have to crouch like this so I'm in frame. So crackle medium is a two-part system and it is a timed finish, meaning you can't put one layer on and walk away for six months and come back and do the second layer. Um, crackle mediums are designed to give you a crackled effect. Um, you know, all the stuff we try to avoid sometimes because it's not stable, well now here's how you do it and it's stable and you get the crackled look. Um, I've done sample boards, and you may have seen this before, where um, I tested Crackle Medium, and I will be a little more specific with that when we get going about how the applications work. So the first thing you have to know is that there's a, a Crackle size, which is the under layer, and then there is the Crackle Medium that goes over it that is what actually cracks. And the reason this works is that the two parts um, dry at different rates. So the top part's gonna dry faster than the, uh, the lower level and uh, layer, and then as the lower layer dries, it tightens and pulls apart the top layer. Hey there, how are you? Good, thank you. I'm in the middle of a Facebook Live, so I hope you enjoy what you're hearing. That's fine, we're just looking around anyway, thanks. Hi Lisa, nice to see you. We, we are open for business until five, so you're gonna, you may hear me talking to customers from time to time. Um, so as I was saying, Crackle Medium has the, la the lower layer that dries slower than the upper layer, so as it dries, it tightens, it pulls the upper layer apart, and that's what gives you the crackle. It also helps that the, um, lower layer is a little slick, so it allows for it to slide apart a little easier so you get better rivers and uh, islands out of your crack. And here's what we're gonna be talking about today. Urban Crackle and uh, the Crystal Clear Crackle. Crystal Clear Crackle is exactly what it sounds like. It, it dries absolutely crystal clear, and to see the cracks, you have to put a glaze over it. Urban Crackle is more of a plaster material, and these are how it cracks. Now, how your final results look depend upon your application method. Um, so we'll start with the first layer, which is going to be the size. Thanks, ladies. As you can see, it's a busy day at the studio. It's been that way all day today, and I'm not complaining. So here we go. Uh, let me angle down to my first sample board. Sorry for my hand over there. And I just messed with my volume. Sorry about that. I messed with my volume as I was doing that. So let me make sure I've got my angle so you can see my board. Here's my board. So the first thing we're going to do is take some of the size. And this is Let's see if I got it in this frame. Crackle size from Artsyville. Um, and I love this for furniture. It's a terrific product. Now, normally I would pour it out into a pan, but because I'm doing a live, I'm going to do the cheat way. I'm gonna take my roller, which I've already used to size a couple other things, dip it in the can a little bit. And this is a clean roller. It has not been used for anything else. So I'm not gonna get any funky pigments or anything in here. I take it in the roller pan and I offload. So I don't have a ton of product on here. Now, the thing you wanna remember is the ooh, hair on my board and it's my hair. Um, the heavier, heavier you apply this, the wider space between the chunks of crack on top. 
So if I apply this thin, I'm going to get a very fine crackle. If I apply it heavier, my rivers, meaning the space between the top product, is going to be wider. I never roll on like this because I will create lines in my application and cracks will show in that. I want to go in and crack, uh, apply my foil adhesive, uh, sorry, foil adhesive, geez, my um, crackle size randomly because then I get a more consistent, irregular crackle. Now, I can brush this on. I, depending on how I brush it, it's going to show in the final uh, way that everything cracks. So if I brush in while one line, like this, my crack is gonna be linear. If I brush in hash marks, it's going to create cracks along the, so, I don't even know how that worked. I turned my cellular phone off and my cellular data off and somebody still called me. <sighs> These crazy people. All right, so, hi Sarah, nice to see you. So I'm gonna take my roller I'm going to wrap it up in plastic and pull it off the roller frame. And I'm going to set it aside and use it for another day. Because if I wrap it in plastic, it's still good. And I'm going to close this up. Hey, Maddie, nice to see you too. So I've done that. My crackle size is applied. And they set it aside and let it dry for a while. You should never crack more, you should never apply size uh, more than you can do in a day. Um, optimum is probably within an hour, hour and a half of application to apply the adhes uh, the size, pro uh, the crackle products over it. I'm sorry, I'm stuttering today, it's been a while. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull a board over. So. This is a sample I did for something else. It's very cute. And I've applied my uh, crackle size on here already. It's all set up, it's dried clear, it's ready to go. And see, for this one, I'm going to use the crystal clear cracking medium, which is this. Crystal clear cracking medium. And it looks, in the can, kind of syrupy, but it's wonderful stuff. So let me grab my rolling pan that it's over here. And there are different ways I can apply this. So I can do like I did before. Dip a little in here. and offload into my pan, or if you're doing a big project, you know, pour some into a pan. And I can just roll. Now, again, I don't want to roll in stripes because then I'm going to have cracking in stripes. What I want to do is random roll. And unlike a lot of other crackles, you do have time to work with this. So there's that one, and that's just going to give me a nice, even, consistent, fine line crackle like this one and that's what I want for this piece but there are other ways of applying let's see where's another board I have boards thrown everywhere around here okay so this is a sample again from another class I can take my crackle medium I can brush it on or I can do something even more interesting. I can take a little more, like I did before. And I'm rolling it on here. And I'm, I'm being very generous with this because I want uh, a little bit of a substantial size of rivers and islands. And for those who don't know what I mean, as soon as I show you this technique, I will very clearly explain what I mean by rivers and islands. If I do it right now, I might lose my window and I don't want to do that. So I brought, rolled this on heavy and I'm taking my texture roller and I'm rolling it through. 
Now it's not going to look like much of anything now. You might see, yeah, you can see a little bit of the change in the texture on there, but this will affect how the crackle does. So I'm going to have heavier crackles where it's thicker and finer crackles where it's thinner. All right, let's set that one aside. Now, to cover what I was talking about before. When I'm talking about rivers and islands, and this is the easiest way for me to explain it, the rivers are the spaces here, the fine lines. The islands are these things, the top product where, that has cracked. So, the heavier you apply the size, the wider the rivers. The heavier you apply the top cracking product, the bigger the islands. Once again, the heavier you apply the size, the wider the rivers. The heavier you apply the top product, the bigger the islands. So that should, I hope that clarifies that. Um, all right, so let's get into some, int uh, some of the urban crackle. We've Crystal cra clear crackle is exactly as it na its name describes. It gives you a crystal clear crackle. If you want a more linear crackle, like this one, use a brush. Because you can see all my cracking is in a direction. I brushed on the size and I brushed on the crystal clear crackle, both in the same direction. And you can see you get the direction crackle. I also did this with the urban crackle, which I will explain in a few minutes or a minute maybe at the most. So the next thing, let me reach over my arms, are getting shorter every day. The next product is Urban Crackle. Okay. Urban Crackle is very different looking from the Crystal Clear. Urban Crackle, let me get this out from under my arm so I don't ruin it. Urban Crackle is more like a plaster. Hi Inga, nice to see you. So this is a very cool product. This is a cracking product. It can be tinted any way you want with any product that's friendly to water-based tinting, or you can use it on its own and glaze over it. So here we go. I got a textured finish here, and I thought I'd see how that works over this. And I'm gonna take a trowel, and I'm going to grab stick. Now this is something I've never done, so hopefully this works. We won't know until tomorrow, so I'm going to have to add, uh, well, I'll know later today, but I'll add pictures of how it comes out. And you see it's shiny, a little plasticky looking, but it dries very matte. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to backfill this. And I can't, you can hear me scratch, scratching a little bit, but you don't want to scrape hard on this because if you break the surface tension, your crackle doesn't work as well. Now, if I break this a little bit, I'm not gonna be too upset because I'm gonna have cracking happening in the lines. Hi, Darlene, hi everybody. And I ask you again to share, 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 share. I'm trying to grow our viewership trying to introduce more people to this great product line and introduce you all to new and interesting people. So please share the love. And here we go. Yes, Facebook still is not liking the S word, so perhaps I should say distribute, distribute, distribute. Okay, so what's gonna happen here? is we're gonna have different levels of cracking because there is more plaster, uh, more of the urban crackle product, this plastery type um, crackle medium in the, in the crevices of um, this detail than there, are, than there is on the top. So what cracks on top is gonna to be a super fine line. What cracks deep is going to be bigger. Um, and what I was saying is you don't really, you don't want to scrape, scrape, scrape. You want to try to butter this um, with a trowel because 
especially with stuff that you've just applied, and I just applied the size like an hour ago, um, you can break the surface tension and then not have anything crackle. That is a challenge when you trowel. It's not an issue when you brush. It is an issue when you trowel. So be careful. And then this one, again, I could brush it on. I've done that, but I don't want that brushy look. I want to have this peeking through the crackle, the urban crackle. And you're not gonna see much of it, I guarantee you. Not unless I applied it super thin, because if I apply it thin like this, I'll get a finer, I got a chunk of something in my trowel. If I apply it thinner, you see the pattern through it a little bit and it's a white haze that dries over it. Sorry, this, my trowel is actually, I'm hitting my own tables here. And don't overwork this because um, A, you break the tension below and B, you can start to destroy the crackle layer on top. So now I've done a thin, thin, thin layer. And that's gonna have a nice, fine crackle to it. Whereas the one that I did with the wood grain texture in it is going to have a much more covered and much deeper crackle. So let me put those to the side. So now we've I turn it up. Now we've crackled several boards. Um, I did some before, but it is humid, so I'm hoping they might be dry enough for me to work with. I've set them to the side over here. Let me grab them and let me wipe the goo off my hands. Uh, of course, I don't have anything sitting right here to wipe my hands because oh, I'm not smart enough ever to remember to put on a pair of gloves. All right. And each surface will take crackle differently, simply because of texture and everything else. Um, the wood, the stained boards may not crack as easily, simply because there's a little texture from the wood. All right, so here's you, you can see here's how the urban crackle dries. This part, not dry yet. You can see the white, white, white part is nicely cracked. I put a fine coating of the size on under this, not a thick, heavy one. So I'm getting much smaller rivers. And the places that are still wet in here, the cracks are going to be bigger. And they're starting to, you can see slowly how it's starting to crack up in here as it dries. And that's what it does. And then as this other layer dries and it pulls apart, I might get a little, sorry, ducking down so I can see, get a little wider on the rivers. And then I can glaze this to enhance that detail. Um, I have glazes. Now this one, I'm just gonna play with the glaze in the corners of some of these because I cannot guarantee that they're come 100% dry. This one, I actually did the crystal clear crackle on, and while I can see it, because the way the light's hitting it, I know you can't see it. I don't think you can, oh, you might be able to see it. There we go. You can see a little bit of it right in here. So I am, Darlene, nice to see you. Come back anytime. I know you're gonna watch the left. Oh, I'm sorry your husband's in the ER. I'm sorry to see that. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna glaze this and we will see the, the detail. Right here, where it just is a little cloudy, um, it's where I applied it a little heavier and it hasn't quite pulled apart yet, but that's okay. We're gonna play. So I am using the Artsyville Glaze and you can tint this with any tint that works in water-based products. You can use Modern Masters, you can use Faux Effects, you can use Goldens, you can use powdered pigments. Anything that dissolves into a water-based product works in all of these. You, yes, you can tint your crystal clear crackle. You can tint your urban crackle. All of these are tintable. Okay, my, you're looking at, the, I keep showing you the top of my head. I'm sorry. So let's shift this so you can see. 
grab a brush and a couple pieces of cheesecloth. This is cheesecloth for those who are not familiar. I carry this cheesecloth. It is pre-cut and lint-free. Great stuff. And when you glaze, don't take just one little tiny piece of cheesecloth. Come on, everybody. Be generous with your work. Take enough so you can make a little pad. Don't, don't short yourself on cheesecloth when you're doing white feet back. Okay, so I've got a brush. This glaze was sort of a mishmash of glazes that I had from a class. I poured them all into one bucket. Uh, all, they're all the uh, Artsyville glazes, but I used, had weird colors and I just dumped them all into the bucket to see what happened. And I got this sort of interesting battleship color. So I'm going to take this and you should be able to see the crackle popping a little bit because I can see it now. And if you can't, I will hold it up closer to the camera. I can glaze it like this and just leave it on but really I want to wipe it back so that it enhances the cracks and changes the color of this board a little less. I've worked it in. Now the nice thing with um, both the glaze and the crackles is you have work time. So here's how it works. Look at that. I'm wiping it back. I'm pushing the glaze into the cracks and oh my gosh this is the crystal clear crackle with glaze added now you should be able to there you go there are the cracks you can see them now look how beautiful and this gives this really beautiful patina to it an old world finish. I mean, honestly, if you were doing a room and you needed it to look more like tree bark, what could be simpler than using a roller and then some crackle to get that wonderful texture? Oh my gosh, I love this. Oh, so pretty. That one's dry. This one might be a little more of a challenge. And I'm just going to glaze over this with the glaze that I already have. So we're going to work the glaze into a dry spot, I hope. <laughs> Sorry, folks, I can't make the, I just can't make things dry faster. And this is truly, understand, you don't want to put a hair dryer on this. You don't want to put additional heat on it. You possibly could put a fan on low blowing across it, but you don't want to adjust to how this dries because the curing is what creates the crackle. So you don't want to mess with it. This is such a funky color, but I really like this glaze. I don't know if I could ever remake it. <laughs> All right, so I'm glazing that part. And I'm gonna take my cheesecloth and wipe it back. Here you go. And then after I do this, um, I'm gonna pull up those other boards and see if we can see any of the cracking starting. It may not be something you can see right away, something I wanted to do. Oh, I'll come back to it in a minute because I had another idea. I just had to wait for that size to clear. Okay, so you can see this. Now the colors that are in here, all right, let me think for a minute and see if I can remember. These were faux effects colors. So they are, this weird glaze is a mixture of custom blue, black, asphaltum transoxide and some mix all gold it was just what was it left over from a bunch of glazes from a class and i dumped it in a pot and i got this really kind of interesting tealy gray color but look how nice that makes those cracks look and that's gorgeous and you because this is a plaster you can create texture with it all right there was one other thing and i just needed to wait for a board to dry for me to do that on where did I put it okay so this board you see it's already got texture on it we're gonna go back into the urban crackle which is the white plastery crackle and I'm gonna take my trowel again I should have wiped it off I didn't so if I have chunky bits in here it's nobody's fault but my own 
I'm loading it on my trowel. And I am smoothing it over the surface that I have already applied the, the crackle size to. And I'm gonna actually have to try this on a better board than this one because I don't, I'm gonna be, I'm fighting a texture underneath, so. But this should be a cool reaction here once I get it going. I'm getting drag marks in here because I let it dry on my trowel a little bit. It's nobody's fault but my own. It was sloppy of me. So I've smoothed this. And as you can see, unlike a lot of um, craft crackles, you have time to work with this. You don't want to, like I said, you don't want to overwork it. But you're definitely getting more time than you would with the old crackles that we used to get where you had to brush it on and leave it alone, couldn't touch it. Um, my favorite personal crackle story is one where, um, first time I used crackle, I used it on a dining room wall for a client. Knew nothing about it, God bless her. And I put the size on, to put this up so you can see me. Sorry about that, almost lost track of everybody. Ooh. My camera went flying. My roller just went flying. Oh my goodness, I am so sorry. Okay, so let me get back to you with what I was saying, is that my first experience crackling was on a wall in a dining room. Didn't know anything about it. So I'd put on the adhesive, or the, the size, and then I rolled regular paint over it. And the first thing I did was the big painter's W. Vroom, vroom, vroom. And then I rolled it out. Well, when I came back later, the crack cracked in a big W, and then you could see how I rolled it out. Not my best moment. Learn better. Learn better from that. All right, so the next thing I was going to show you down here, here we go. I'm going to take one of my rollers, and I'm going to roll it through the crackle medium. Gosh, I've got everything on the edge of me right now. And what's gonna happen here is in these lines where the fine, the, the detail is, that's gonna be a fine crackle. Up here, where it's wider, it's going to be a heavier crackle. So how cool is that? You can create a cracked pattern. I will show these pictures once it's dry. I don't have a dry one of these. I tried to do it dry, then I dropped it on the floor because I'm that kind of genius. So this is it, my introduction to our awesome Crackle products. So everything that you've seen me use, I carry. You can order the Crackle size, the Crackle mediums, the rollers, the cheeks cloth, the paint brushes, and mini trowels from me at paintedstudio.com. I loved having you guys here, not making it a long one today. It's a hot summer day and yeah, it's about time for me to head home. So before I go, does anybody have any questions? Push the questions in. If I've missed a question before, I'm gonna scroll back for a minute now and see if I missed anything. Uh, is it blurry or is it just you? Uh, as far as I know, it's clear, except for the moment I dropped the camera because I'm a genius. And let's see, Carol, enjoy. We are, if you saw, the, there are different levels of the finished product. So, and I will post pictures underneath this video of everything dried tomorrow because I, if I post it now, you're just gonna be looking at wet stuff. Um, I love seeing you all here. Sorry, just flipping through, making sure I got questions. Don't hesitate to ask a question. Don't hesitate to reach out to me through Facebook, through our phone number, through our website, however you need to get a hold of me to ask me any questions about these products. This is one of the easiest Crackle products you will ever work with. Our, the size is fantastic. The Crystal Clear gives you beautiful, fine crystal crackle. The Urban Crackle gives you these gorgeous egg shelly kind of crackles. 
you can tint them all, you can create whatever kind of look you want with your crackle. So everybody have a wonderful day. Enjoy the sunshine. Bye-bye.